Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a new hairstyle, got some twists in my hair that I am so excited about. This may be my most favorite style I've ever done on my channel. So if you're interested in this look, keep on watching. All right, y'all, so jumping right into this tutorial. So this is the side I've already done. I did start on blow dried hair. So I washed my hair, blow dried it, and that's how I will be starting this tutorial. You can do this on non blow dried hair, of course, but I was actually gonna clip my ends and straighten my hair and then I decided not to. So yeah, so just taking my hair down all nice and freshly washed. And I had to go off camera to part, but I'm back. So let's see how I parted this. So I did this all by myself. The other side, my husband actually helped me with. And I think I got, I mean, not I think, I got them as straight as I possibly could. Y'all know I do not care for straight parts, perfect parts, anything like that. But this time I did my absolute best for y'all. And it came out, it came out really nice. All right, y'all, so the hair we're using today is the Expression Twisted Up Springy Afro Twist in 24 inches, and you get three full bundles of hair per pack, and I'm using the color 1B, and this is how it looks right out of the package, and so it's already kind of pre-separated for you, which always makes life so much easier. The texture is great, it feels good, it splits apart very easily, and it mimics type 4 hair. So taking you guys step by step. So I'm just taking this middle section because it was the easiest as far as like the camera view. And the first thing I did with each row was divide it up and then I twisted up each section so that um, I already had, you know, everything nice and even, which is what I'm doing right here. And then I'm gonna just show you how I um, installed this hair using two different techniques. So just filing my nail so I don't get any snags. And these are the products I use. So I ran out of Hicks, but I use the Hicks. I use this Main Choice 24 Karat Glistening Gel and also the Myel Edge um, Control. So this is the hair, just one strand. I'm going to cut it in half first. This is exactly what I did throughout my whole head. So I have one full strand. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm going to um, split that section. So each section that I have right here, I'm gonna split these in two. So I'll have two for this section and I'll have two for that section, which equals four pieces total. So four braids total. So I have one piece and I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit and then I'm going to go into installing my hair. So I just stretch that piece of hair just a little bit um, because my hair is pretty much the length of this hair once it's cut in half. So for each piece, I use edge control by the part and then I use the 24 karat glistening gel kind of all throughout on my natural hair. I absolutely love that gel. It's amazing, it's moisturizing, it's holding um, and it's long lasting. So love that main choice gel. The way I'm installing this particular piece is like the traditional way. I hate explaining it because I don't think I do mine like how everyone else does it, but it ends up staying. And so I'm just gonna hush for a second and let you guys just see how I installed it doing the regular way and then I'll show you a different way. All right, so I'm just two strand twisting all the way down and then don't forget to tuck your hair inside kind of the um, the outre hair, the expression hair, because that's, I mean, that's the point of the protective style and you just kind of covering up, covering it up just a bit and blending it as well. My hair is kind of like a brownish kind of color and this is 1B. So it just helps it blend so much better um, when it's kind of tucked in there nice and safe and protected and just adding some gel um, on the ends. Well, actually all throughout, I added gel all throughout um, each braid and I twist it all the way to the ends. Now, once you get to the end, start borrowing hair because I'm not gonna dip this hair in boiling hot water. That Remember, this is the length of my natural hair and that just would not make sense for me to completely scorch my hair. 
Um, so I'm just gonna twist all the way till I can't twist anymore and then just cut the excess off, which be careful if your hair is as long as it's mine, make sure you're cutting the um, fake hair, the braid hair and not your actual hair. So, all right, so getting into my method that I have been using um, is the braid and crochet method. A lot of you asked me, um, could you do twists with that braid and crochet method like I was doing box braids? And you can, and I'm gonna show you right here. So I'm just braiding my hair as normal. Make sure you're not pulling too tight or braiding too tight, but braid about a half of an inch. This is actually a little bit too much um, down because we still gotta put the crochet needle through which I'm doing right here and we still have to pull some hair through which I am doing right here so after you just unhook it you're just gonna pull it through and then you're just gonna twist it up as normal do not undo your braid a lot of you ask me that as well don't undo your braid if anything you can like undo a little bit of it just in case like you see right here mine is too long but the braid is holding the crochet hair in, um, the braiding hair in, which is a great technique if you don't have like a good grip game or anything like that. And to me, it lasts a lot longer. So just showing you um, them side by side. And just to put it out there, the braid and crochet method will definitely take you so much longer, but I think it would last longer as well. So if you are up to it, maybe you could do your just the perimeter braid and crochet method because that method does, it does stay, especially when I do box braids and twists like that, like bigger twists and things. I always realize that braiding a little bit then crocheting it in the single braid just makes things last so much longer. So keep that in mind it all depends on up to you and how much time you want to spend on your head and I don't think I said it earlier but the reason why I kept borrowing like when I got to the end the, to the ends of my hair I kept borrowing kept borrowing was not only because I'm not dipping my hair in um, hot water to seal it was because that helps it from unraveling so that keeps it sorry from unraveling and you you're good to go you don't need any hot water So y'all, just speaking of the hair really quickly, y'all can do so much with this hair, it's not even funny. Like you can do a twist, you can do Marley twist, you can do Senegalese twist or um, just regular two strand twist. You can also just crochet this hair in, maybe do a little bit of a leave out if you want to. The options are truly endless with this um, with this hair. And that's the one of the reasons why I love like kinky, my texture type of hair because you can do so much with it. All right, you guys, so it's the next day and I'm just gonna do my edges really quickly. So I'm using this Lagoon Jam from Goldwell. I'll link it down below. And my favorite design essentials and this gel, did I say jam or gel? I don't know. This gel actually really held my edges, y'all. The thing about my edges are they're thin, but they're long. Like that's why I can't really pull too many out. Um, I've never had thick edges or anything like that, but these suckers are getting so long, it's crazy. So I just did a few swoops and then I'm just going to use my Design Essentials to put it kind of all over and tie my hair down and just kind of set my twist. So y'all just keep on watching, don't go anywhere. I will be right back just to give you my final thoughts and some tips and maybe or maybe not there's a giveaway. I can't remember if I'm doing one. Hey you guys, so this is the final look on this twisted fake it till you make it type of mini twist that I did and I love, I love, love, love this outcome. I don't think I've done on my channel twists this short and this small before. So on this half of my head that I showed you guys, I had 30 braids and I forgot to count this side before I put my hair up, but I should have 30 braids on this side, but I will put maybe right here um, the amount of braids that I really do have. So it took me just a smidge less than six hours, but it was totally worth it. I think I probably could have got this done 
maybe in five hours but after i ate after i got this side of my hair done and i ate you guys i was just like oh my gosh i still have a whole nother side to do so i didn't really feel like doing it so i just i took my time so my original plan was to do long twist but this size and then i was kind of like I don't want to do that. I always have longer lengths and I really did not feel like dealing with longer hair right now. I've been trying to work out a little bit more um, lately and get Isaiah and I back outside in the pool and that kind of thing. And I was just like, no, I'm going to do something my length. So the outro hair, you guys, was perfect. I don't have any complaints about it. So you get three full bundles per pack. And this style only took me one pack of hair one pack of hair so i did end up with like a lot of just a big ball of hair just from twisting and pulling extra hair out and you know it getting a little bit um tangly because it's kinky hair it's bound to happen which is why i always say no matter what type of hairstyle you're doing especially when it comes to braids twist crochet anything like that where it's packs involved i always say order one more pack of hair because you never know um, you never know what's gonna happen. And but overall, I like the hair, you guys. I hope you guys can tell how much I'm in love with this style. I think it's perfect, perfect for right now, especially with, you know, just how our new norm is. I'm still staying inside, I don't know about you guys, but kind of still, you know, social distancing, staying inside, working from home. And you know, our life is pretty much went from out and about and everywhere to kind of transition more inside. If you're like me, I don't like to look like a bum all day. Like I don't like to look like completely raggedy all day long. And this is one of those hairstyles that you are able to maintain, keep up with. You can still wash your hair with these twists in, keep up with your regular routine, still work out, still do all kinds of things because it's also a very versatile style. So even if you're working from home, you're on Zoom meetings, video conference calls, or if you're just out in about you know running errands you're good to go with this style love the length it's not too hot for me i'm not dealing with a headache full of hair like big twists and a big old bun which i love me a big bun i do but right now i just didn't want to deal with it overall i'm in love with the hair they give you more than enough hair it's soft it feels good you do have a sensitive scalp make sure you do um your apple cider vinegar rinse on the hair and you should be good well the, there goes the sun that is pretty much it you guys i hope to have some links down below for you um on where to purchase this hair i will put all the information about this hair down below in the description box for you make sure you give this video a thumbs up at least if you stay till the end like right here and if you did stay to the end then you know that i am doing a giveaway for this hair Yay! but how to enter really quickly make sure you are subscribed make sure you like this video i can see who does and does not do those two things and also comment down below just something about yourself i just want to I just want to get to know y'all. Y'all always support me and, and hype me up and this and that and y'all know a little bit about me. So let me know something down below in the description box about you. And that's it. I will pick the winner within a week and notify them down in the description box. Tag them however I reply. All that good stuff. And send them this hair in a little package. A little maybe some other goodies to go with it as well. So that is it you guys. Thank you so so much for watching. And yeah I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.